YouTubers, Pastor Bob. Yeah, I want to talk to you today about being a light unto the world with your immediate circle of family and friends, mainly through the giving of advice. People love giving advice. Everybody does, uh, whether it's wanted or not. Uh, we like helping others, and when someone comes to us and asks for our advice, we kind of feel like they, tr they trust us enough to give it to them. They trust our opinion. This is what it says in Proverbs 15.4. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. So there's three aspects of this scripture I want to talk about. A wholesome tongue, perverseness, and a breach in the spirit. First of all, wholesome. Wholesome means promoting health or well-being, promoting a positive spirit, sound in body, mind, and morals. That is wholesome advice. This is where the person giving the advice actually loves the person enough to try to help them and give them sound advice. It says, but perverseness therein. So perverseness, what's that? It's willfully determined or disposed to go counter to what is expected or desired. That's when someone comes to someone for advice and they deliberately give them advice that's going to harm them. They don't think it through. This person hates. They have a hateful spirit. They're given to destroy. In other words, they want to throw salt in the wound of the person that's hurting. So let's use this scenario. Person comes up to a person that's supposed to be godly and says, man, I hate my job. And that person, without even thinking, instantly says, well, then quit. If you don't like it, quit. <laughs> they don't appreciate you anyway. That'll show them, quit. Well, that person doesn't think about the fact that this person still needs to pay rent, still needs to buy food. They need that job, even though they don't like it. And that brings us to the breach in the spirit. It says, a wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. A bre breach means an act of breaking or failing to observe the law or code of conduct. And it's also a gap in a wall or a barrier, especially one made by an attacking army. So a person that has a crack in the spirit or a breach the demonic host uses that person and that breach in their spirit to harm others. So a person who wants to give wholesome advice, when that person walks up to them and says, I hate my job, the correct answer would be, think it through. You would say something like this, well, well listen, if you don't like that job, why don't you start looking for another one? Uh, what is it you would like to do? Where would you like to work? I mean, just hang on to that job because you needed to pay your bills, but start looking for another one. Start applying at places you might like to work. And don't just quit that job, but replace that job because you still got to pay rent and buy food. In other words, you walk that person through positive steps to solve their problem. That is sound Christian advice. Walk the person through the steps to solve the problem. Now one thing you have to look out for and one thing you want to avoid is people that constantly ask you for advice and then turn around and either go do the exact opposite thing or they just don't take it at all. And uh, I knew two people like that. Let's see, we're going to call them Sandra and Evelyn. Evelyn was a party animal. Evelyn loved to drink, she loved to party, she was a party animal. And her life was totally messed up from start to finish. 
And we had this church administrator, a uh, godly lady, her name was Sandra. And uh, one day, Evelyn came up to her and started, you know, just like she had done hundreds of times, telling her how screwed up her life is, all this other stuff and what she needed to do to fix it. I mean, this, this lady's life was so messed up. She's the only woman I've ever known that showed up at a Christmas service at church drunk. That's how messed up her life was. Well, one day she came up to Sandra and asked her, told her that her life was all messed up and she wanted to change. And Sandra said, listen, every time you come to me for advice, and I give it to you, I lay out a plan, you never do it. You never do it. You keep living your life exactly the way you want to live it. So if you truly want to change, I will help you. But if you're not willing to give up drinking, partying, and all the things you love to do, don't come to me for advice, because I'm not going to waste my time. People, listen. That's the way it is with advice. So remember this. Don't let people utilize you to try to fix their problems that they're not willing to fix themselves. Never give advice unless you think it through. Go over their problem, come up with several solutions, and give it to them. But never just rattle something off because you're in a hurry. Because you don't want to be that person that has a breach in the spirit that Satan comes through to attack the other person. Advice is a very tricky thing. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> you give a person advice and it doesn't work out and then what happens? It's all your fault. So anyway, I just want to give you something to think about. Christian counseling, Christian advice. It is a very slippery slope. Trust me, I know. Anyway, I just want to give you something to think about. Heaven or hell you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.